This is a Rotax version 2. This is the evolution from Sun and Fun 2009. And what we actually did was uh, a lot of people said the wiring on top of the engine was ugly. So we moved the wiring to the bottom of the engine and the wiring harness comes out at the side here. And as you can see it's a very very clean setup. Probably the cleanest setup that I've ever done. Um, the fuel system, we went with the primary fuel system, a fuel block that distributes to each injector. And you can see that each one is bossed with a ru rubber tie down on in the middle. So you got AN fittings on both sides, and then you got a fuel supply and a fuel return that's AN fitting. So push on tubing, uh, the air equip hose, it was a uh, T bolt clamp on it, and you're ready to go. So this is a plug and play setup that incorporates the needs of uh, all the kit manufacturers that I talked to during my visit at uh, Lakeland, Florida, Sun and Fun. Um, it is a proven technology. Fuel injection is been used in the Predator for almost 300,000 hours. So uh, whether it's been proven you know just look at the Predator engine and say 300,000 hours so what I've done on my setup is make it a more streamlined setup that will fit in anybody's cowl as you can see the bottom end is a copy of the 914 bottom end so uh, weight wise with with uh, only the primary setup um, I can get you around the 170 pound range and uh, best of yet, I'm lowering my prices to make it more competitive in this market. Um, I've decided that uh, it's a good marketing strategy to undercut Rotax. So if the attractive price doesn't get you or the fuel injection doesn't get you, then the combination of the both will.